All right, we're recording. This is another little video. We're here actually at the RTR, the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous 2018. And I wanted to show you a little bit around how this looks like. It's another one of those meetups in the Arizona desert where a lot of people are coming together to exchange information and help each other and form a community. So also been growing quite a bit. Uh, last year they had I think like six, they said around 600 people. This year it's close to 4,000. And um, it's again got like a little bit of a burning mind vibe going here. look it stretches way there and then there in the distance you can see quartzite uh, but I will maybe climb on the roof and do a shot from up there and it's like a better view so now this is a much better view from up here um, all the way in the back there you can see quartzite the town of quartzite uh, where there are a lot more campers parked all around. That's what this town lives off. Every winter um, a ton of people are coming here because there's so much free desert camping. And as you can see, this is massive. And this is just like all the RTR area here. There's the uh, main road coming in, Mitchell Mine Road. And this is the um, generator music area, so it's a little bit more lively here. And then over there in the background, that area over there, that's the uh, main camp where everything is a little bit quieter, though they're also packed in there. so. Uh, they're actually thinking about moving this next year because it's gotten too packed. Uh, they're going to move it into another BLM land area where it's much more open and easier to get in and out and more flat. So that will probably enhance the Burning Man feel even more. But yeah, this is definitely a surprising turnout here. Okay. Let's walk around a little bit more. Hello from s and s and the RV cats on YouTube. I guess these guys have cats. Huh, that is cool. Somebody dropped something with love and thanks. Okay, we're picking up trash. It's just the right thing to do. <clears throat> This is actually a horse trailer that somebody must have converted. Here are some unusual rigs. These are step vans and apparently they like company because they're all parking together. People are still arriving even in the middle of the week. Hey Jim, it's Chris. Hey. Sorry, I didn't want to intrude on you. Hi there. Sorry, your solar oven. Yeah, That's you cool. want to see what's in it? Yeah, sure. Do you mind if I film? No, go for it. Wow, look at that. And that gets really hot, huh? Oh yeah, it's steaming. Um, well, actually, the oil in the bottom is boiling. Uh huh. Not the oil, the, the runoff from the ribs. Wow. But I, I'd say those are, are getting, see how the bones are beginning to pull out? Uh-huh. Th those are done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can see the temperature right there, so it's hot in there. It, well, I've opened the door three times now in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's down 25 degrees. Right. So how does it actually work with... The mirrors 
collect or reflectors collect the sun and, and focus it into that black box okay black, and you can adjust these so that you get the best uh, or I, other... I can adjust the whole cooler up and okay down. Uh -huh. but uh, the general the the, the the angles are already fixed like no, yeah no, i see that well these these don't move right okay the leg in the back of the cool, cooker moves I yeah 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 the cooker back and forth and yeah. if you want to know what the angle needed to be it, it's pretty simple take your hand uh -huh. take it out here and make it so that the if i go like that uh -huh. the shadow thickens right if i go like that the shadow thickens so that that's the perfect angle right there for the cooker to be in right right and Interesting. Um, of course in the back if you want to line it up you just line uh -huh. up the shadow behind it right and did you buy this or did you build it yourself no no the, the, this is commercial all of my solar cookers are commercial right how much does this run uh the last time i checked i believe it was uh 320 330 uh -huh. or yeah 320 330 with all the pots and pans and racks and dehydrators and everything you can imagine yeah nice well you know if you're into uh, oven cooking um you know this is actually a good investment sure it's not heating up my trailer it's not burning my propane um the water heater and the oven in my trailer burn more propane than anything else Yep. So running an oven at, at 325 for two or three hours would burn a lot of propane. I'm not burning any right now. That's true. Well, amazing thing. Thanks, Jim. You're welcome. <laughs>